This is Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. A Daily Pulse today is a conversation I had with a good buddy of mine regarding <laughs> sometimes how we feel like we don't measure up and, and not so much out of inadequacies, just more out of we're not engaging. And the conversation was was revolving around, you know, my buddy saying, you know, basically say, hey, TZ, he said, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm just walking through the mall of life. You know, I'm looking at, I'm window shopping, I'm looking right, you know, I'm looking left, I'm looking here, but I'm not engaging. And I feel like I could be doing more for the kingdom. And 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 what we basically agreed was that we would pray about that and we'd come back and talk about it later. And I've been thinking about that too, because, you know, sometimes when we go through life, we feel like we're, we don't want to engage. You know, that, that, that situation's too messy, that one's too, that one's too nice, that one's too high, that one's too low. You know, we have all these excuses for engaging every one of us. And the challenge today is, are you engaging in life? Specifically, are you engaging what Jesus calls us to do? And we can go specifically to the scriptures here in Luke chapter 12, verse 47 to 48, where Jesus says, that servant who knows his master's will and does not get ready or does not do what his master wants will be beaten with many blows. But the one who does not know and does things deserving of punishment will be beaten with few blows. For everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted much, with much, much more will be asked. Luke chapter 12, verse 47 to 48. So Jesus is saying, for those who have given much and those who have little, Jesus is asking us to use what we have. So as, as we engage in life, and we, whether it's teaching a Sunday school class, or it's helping out volunteer at the library, or it's helping with kids you know, after school programs, or even helping up your own bride, or your kids, or your neighbor, Jesus has given us much, and he wants us to use that for the glory, not for ourselves, but for his glory, and to bring honor and glory to him. Don't walk through the mall of life. Shop and give Jesus the glory in your name, Father. Amen.